you for watching this video. I enjoy making videos, and my goal is to show you the, the 10 most expensive shoe brands for women in the world. These videos are excellent for expensive shoe lover. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, leave a comment, and turn on the notification bell to receive notifications of new videos. Thanks. It is without a doubt a fact that Cinderella makes it clear that new shoes can thoroughly change a lady's life. Presently, envision wearing the most costly shoes for ladies out there. We can't reject that it is so extraordinary. To this end, we will assist you with picking the ideal costly shoes accessible on the lookout. All you should do is look forward and look at what we have coming up for you in this video. In the event that you are can't say much about which brand to pick, underneath is the aid that will assist you with picking that most wanted costly pair of shoes that you have been longing for putting on for that next large party. Thus, without holding yourself up, feel free to look at them. Let's jump to video, and please watch full video, thank you. Number 1. Miu Miu. Not many know that Maechia Prada conceived the name Miu Miu from the family's nickname. While Prada offered minimalistic, elegant, and sophisticated designs to their customers, Miu Miu fell on the other side of the spectrum. Miu Miu's take on fashion was rather rebellious, loud, and eclectic, something that people immediately fell in love with. The brand conceived the concepts of couture, luxury, and feminism, which were anything but mainstream back then. Its strategy, collections, photographs, etc. were bold, staying true to its motto. The shoes from this brand continue to fascinate women to this day. Number 2. Christian Louboutin. You will recognize a Louboutin when you see one. The fascinating part of Louboutin's story is that he stumbled upon designing shoes by accident. He was expelled from school and ended up taking up several jobs. He started working as a freelancer shoe designer in the early 80s. After a few years, he started his label. He chanced upon the idea of the revolutionary red sols after seeing his assistant paint her nails red. The shoes soon started gaining popularity. Some of them had dangerously high heels. Even with all the counterfeit issues and the legal battle with YVS over the red sols, Louboutin remains one of the most expensive shoe brands all over the world. Number 3. Manolo Blahnik. Manolo Blahnik is often referred to as the holy man of heels. He firmly believes in the power of heels and hand makes them with the same level of passion. His designs are authentic, customized, and not mass-produced. When he met Diana Vreeland in 1968, who was Vogue's editor-in-chief, he set off on his shoemaking journey. He presented his first shoe collection in 1971 and hasn't looked back since. His creations have been flaunted on red carpets, movies, and TV shows, and by the biggest names in Hollywood, Manolo Blahnik is the real deal. Number 4. Jimmy Choo. From Princess Diana to Carrie Bradshaw, Jimmy Choo has the most loyal and elite customer base in comparison to the other brands. Jimmy Choo was started by Chu Ying Keat, a Malaysian designer who hails from a family of shoe designers, but none of them took off at this level. He began by designing custom-made shoes, an idea that spread like wildfire. He became the designer in a jiffy. From sneakers to pumps, Jimmy Choo has an eye for detail that no one else seems to offer and that's why his work continues to be a fascination for people of all classes. Number 5. Walter Steiger. Walter Steiger was a Geneva-based designer who started his brand in 1932 and made shoes with unique materials, creating offbeat designs even for that era. His elder son Walter Steiger Jr. took inspiration from his father and took over the family business. Walter Steiger, Jr., opened a boutique in Paris in 1974, which gained massive popularity. He went on to start stores in Milan, London, New York, etc. With traditional craftsmanship, unique techniques, and high-quality materials, Walter Steiger remains at the top in the made-to-measure luxury footwear sector for both men and women. Number 6. Alexander McQueen. Alexander McQueen is more like the coming-of-age luxury brands founded about 25 years ago. However, with the kind of eccentric designs McQueen offered, it gained popularity rather quickly. 
Alexander McQueen started off as a designer in Givenchy and became the chief designer within no time. He got out and started a brand under his name, designing stuff like no other. People say that only if you have a taste like Lady Gaga, you will connect to such outlandish accessories, but that's not true. Just a pair of his shoes can set you apart and is worth the investment. Number 7. Brian Atwood. Freedom lies in being bold. Brian Atwood started his brand with this philosophy and strongly believes that you should never really compromise with anything you do. Brian Atwood was one of those few designers who were hired directly by Versace in Italy. His successful stint urged him to explore this further. That's how he started one under his name in 2001 and set off on a high note. He always believed that footwear could be the deal breaker for an outfit, but never knew he would actually start designing them until Versace assigned him to the role. His brand went on to become not just the most sought after shoe brand, but a label that is a strong contender in the luxury segment. Number 8. Stuart Weitzman. Stuart Weitzman started his career by designing shoes for his father's shoe store called Seymour Shoes in Massachusetts. He took a break to pursue his education at Wharton School, then came back to join the family business. However, the company was soon sold off to a Spain company because of his father's demise. But, he continued to design for the company for 20 years and repurchased it in 1994. His shoes started gaining popularity and soon became a thing on the red carpets. The most popular were the platinum shoes and diamond studded ones, which were worth more than a million dollars. He holds a record for making the most expensive women's shoes, worth $3 million. He uses unique materials and makes some of the most expensive designer shoes, which are not something you find everywhere. Stuart Weitzman was taken over by Coach a few years ago, but Weitzman was retained as the chief designer for the brand. Number 9. Louis Vuitton. A name that needs no introduction. It is a brand the elite swear by and not just for handbags, luggage bags, accessories, and apparel, but shoes too. The brand is over 150 years old, but has only been growing consistently. Louis Vuitton or LV is a classic example of classy designs that give you a luxury outlook, unlike most big brands. Number 10. Gucci. Gucci, an Italian brand based out of Florence, is a staple for the elite. It is known for its impeccable quality and exclusively designed luxury leather goods, from handbags and luggage to bags and shoes. Gucci Gucci created a niche by playing with details and experimenting with materials that were otherwise not known. That's why the horsebid detail of the legendary Gucci loafers was a substantial hit, and it still remains as one of the most talked about shoes in the industry. Just like many of the other luxury brands, Gucci has spread its wings into retailing apart from having its flagship and exclusive stores. Even after 90 years, it continues to stay innovative and is always in the forefront. Did you enjoy this video? Please subscribe, leave a comment, and turn on the notification bell to receive notifications of new videos all about top 10. Thanks.